<laughs> we love it. Oh. And it was another wild day on Wall Street. The Dow Industrials tumbling nearly 400 points yesterday before closing slightly higher. Melissa Armoro of StockSwoosh.com joins us now. Good morning, Melissa. Great to have you here. You got to tell me, my friend, what happened yesterday? Why that massive reversal? I mean, I'm in favor if it's going to go positive, but what happened? Well, expect with this volatility to continue. We really fell a lot yesterday. In fact, I was surprised how much we rallied that into the close. We almost broke a very serious level in the Dow, which is 23,300. If we break through that, we were $2 away mm -hmm. from doing that yesterday. The market's going to fall really hard. Now, we did rally. We were up this morning in the pre-market. Now we're down. So who knows what we do today? Remember, we have the U.S. delegation in China talking about all of these trade deals. Right. That's going to move the market in the next few days. Well, there was an honest answer to, to my mind. We don't know what's going to happen today. We're just considering what <laughs> might happen, right? That's right. So, you know, why can't these companies get the benefit of earnings? We've seen the, those uh, EPS reports up 26% year over year. S&P and tech leading the way, but it's just not translating into a strong Dow or S&P. Well, overall, you look at the charts, technically it's not being reflected in the price, even though the companies are reporting fundamentally very strong earnings. We've had stocks gapping up and then falling and crashing. Cat is a good example of that when it had earnings. Boeing is another one that fell. Amazon fell in the earnings, even though it made new highs. I, I honestly, Apple is the only one that was out reported May 1st this week that actually rallied on the earnings. And speaking of that, it came out that Berkshire Hathaway ended up buying seven $25 million in Apple stock. So that was huge news, and they report right. uh, soon, too, as well. So, I mean, honestly, for whatever reason, the market is not, if there's not connecting. The fundamentals and technicals right now are not connecting together. I think long term, though, the fundamentals obviously are good for these companies, and we'll, they'll see That's the right. growth because of the tax plan I, I, in the rest of 2018, but not right now. It's not being reflected in the price. So I wanted to ask you about that Warren Buffett move. He is a famous value investor, right? legendary. So does that tell you of something about what's going on in the market that this is now a value investor market? You know, we've been all about the growth stocks forever and now suddenly Apple could be considered a value stock. Will investors start changing their focus to those values plays? Well, they might. I think Apple is a unique situation, though. It's a very strong stock. Remember, they're bringing all that cash, repatriating that money in from overseas. They're buying $100 billion, I think, of their own stock to boost up the stock price. So they're doing a lot of things themselves. That it, That's one of the ones that's close to making new highs as well. It was around 177 into the close yesterday. Previous high was 183.50. So that stock could easily fly over 200 uh, in 2018. Melissa, I... I have to tell you that stock buyback from Apple, bigger than the combined market caps of Ford and GM. Amazing stuff. Melissa, thank you for coming on. Thanks. And a program note for you. Our Liz Clayman will be live with Warren Buffett this weekend for Berkshire Hathaway's annual shareholder meeting in Omaha, Nebraska. It all starts tomorrow, Saturday uh, afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern. Don't miss it. Well, we've still got a lot more coming up this morning. Busy morning. Uh, a man in handcuffs tries to play a Utah courtroom and he fails miserably. But the video is pretty entertaining. We're gonna play all of it for you. And get those mint juleps ready to go. It is off to the races tomorrow at the Kentucky Derby. And guess who's there live? Janice Deans at Churchill Downs with what is in store for the big race. Taking a look at futures. We're still in the red on your jobs Friday. Dow down 44, S&P down four and a half, NASDAQ down 18. You're watching FBN AM. I believe in all the jet